hit his skull, he'll block like this. So you guys go here and then punch to the body. As you punch to the body, he has to try to block that and then hit him back in the skull. Play around with this, okay? Then I want you guys to just, I want you guys to play with wrist control. See, I push this down. He's trying to pull his arm anyway. You see that little, little gap? I'm gonna bring his hand inside. See that? So as he's trying to kind of resist, yeah. Now I brought his hand inside, bring my foot up like our boy at the 7-Eleven. And now, so his hand's stuck. And then again, just kind of punish the guy a little bit. Keep him on the bottom and punish him. Oh, I'm sorry, I gave, I let it go a little too much. He liked it. Uh, what didn't hurt it one bit soft okay so so get here in the position in the mount super basic move and just showing you guys good good habits um, of getting into these positions right now I'm in the uh, grapevines learning learning you know hips you guys got to be able to tilt your right hip your left hip anytime I put my arm around the neck I don't put my head directly in the center he could use a real basic mount escape of just kind of no 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 uh, you're gonna touch my arm right here with your left hand left hand up here and then just hold that in he's gonna look where he goes and then i'm off i'm gonna get bridged and rolled see that so you gotta respect that so when i'm doing this my head is always on this side with my shoulder on his face so if he tries to grab that and, and roll that way it's gonna be tough I'm turning my shoulder into his jaw. I'm making him look this direction. It's gonna prevent him from rolling in that direction, okay? Next, I bring my hand underneath the elbow and I'm gonna start crawling my hand up. See, like this. And then as I bring this across, instead of going for the arm triangle, we're gonna bring our, uh, I was watching this happen the other day and I just wanna talk about this. If this elbow is going here, Stop trying to get your head on this side of his arm. You know, like, realize that when I hold his arm up here and when my chin tries to go over here, I actually lose the ground that I gained. So the ground that I gained was bringing his arm to here. When I try to bring my head over, I actually lose ground and I can never get it. So I'm gonna bring it all the way over. You see that? And then I stay here and I move my head. I can't do it here. If I'm here, you move your head and you're never gonna get what you want. Keep bringing his arm across, holding it nice and tight. I can hold his head with this hand. Sometimes I can pull this out, grab his wrist and then do it. See how I brought it? Now I get to the gift wrap. There's a few different ways. Sometimes I move my chin and then I bring it across. Okay, and get to here. One more time. I'm walking this up, walking it up, walking it up. As I bring this across, don't get in a hurry. Just keep going, grab his head, make sure I secure it. See my left shoulder real tight. My shoulder's holding that. Maybe I'll retreat this hand, pull it out, grab here and then block it. Now I can get into the gift wrap, okay? Slide my knee up, go up into technical mount, twist your opponent. And then what I did right here is my leg came in tight in the back. Now that my leg's in tight, now we're ready to go. Okay, punches, okay. Don't wanna break my hand on his head, so I, we can use open hand strikes in the real situation. Practice our 7-Eleven trick, okay, getting inside. Even if the guy tries to avoid it a little bit, he may not know exactly what I'm doing, but you see my elbow go under his elbow. Now I weave him, bring my foot up in, under his elbow, that way now he can't just take it out easily. If the guy tries to roll towards the stomach, don't allow it, like I'm kind of sitting back, and then we can control this guy and work those strikes, okay? Super basic jujitsu, okay? Let's go, one, two, three. Shout out to Mr. 7-Eleven. <laughs> um, guys, uh, never forget the basic jujitsu. The basic jujitsu is a martial art for self-defense for a real fight. And uh, we can't forget this stuff. This is really, really basic stuff, but there's always gonna be little details you can like gather and learn and get better. Let's do this move. So I was, I was in this position 
I was able to walk his arm. I was, I was holding him here. I hold the head. See how his elbow's trying to escape. And then let's say I pull this hand out so I can secure the wrist and get to the gift wrap. Now, as I start to slide up into a technical mount, twisting my opponent to the side, see my foot right now is at the hip. Okay, I'm not up here for armbar yet. Okay, let's play around, let's try this. I have an opponent that wants to turn into me. Yeah, he wants that, I feel that energy. I'm gonna bring my hand inside and I'm gonna grab right here on my forearm for an easy choke right here. But remember, this can be escaped or avoided if he were to turn to his belly. So you wanna catch the guy when he's resisting the gift wrap and he's turning back up. So he's twisting this way. So that would be a good time to weave my hand inside and then now I get that quick choke, okay? Now this is not a high level competitive choke, but it's a, like competition guys aren't gonna fall victim to this. But it is good for basic jujitsu self-defense stuff, okay? So if I twisted the guy like this, and I'm, you know, we're, we're in this situation, and he tries to twist hard to go fight into me, and I get into here, my hand grabs my own form, and then I drive this form, just like you're doing a paper cutter, kind of choke in the gi, just like that, okay? So that's a good one to know. Now, why, why does it not work so well if he turns belly down? Because now, your, your, your cutting bone is now going on the side of his neck. It can bother him, but this generally won't choke him out. It's just annoying. You feel that down? Uh -huh. It's not fun, but he'll probably breathe and survive. So, but there's also nothing wrong with saying, hey, I've got his arm looped. I could slide up and then now loop off the head and go to an arm bar, okay? So if you get that guy twisting into you, bring the hand inside and then capture on your forearm and then you can use that elbow right there. Okay, let's go one, two, three. What's up, Ghost? Hey, hey, what's up? So, um, what is this move called? The Million Dollar Dream. Um, anyway, old school move, guys. It's been around forever. Um, like I said, this is not competitive jujitsu, but this is still important jujitsu. Uh, some of it's competitive, for sure. Uh, securing a gift wrap, because you want to look for the hooks, the back hooks, or look for an armbar position. Outstanding, use it for that. But I don't want you guys to forget the basic jujitsu, the self-defense jujitsu, because that's the stuff you're probably going to use a little more than let me chair sit and take the back. Not saying that's not gonna be good for self-defense, could be, but more likely you're just gonna get the mount on a dude. You're gonna have a scrap, you know, a scrap going. And once you get the mount, you're gonna secure a gift wrap. You're either gonna, you know, uh, unleash some punishment on him, or you're gonna wanna end the situation with a nice little choke and, and finish the guy off like that nice and safe. All right, guys, hey, real quick, I just wanted to show one more thing. Um, as I spoke of, this morning, we were working on this technique. I've got the head, we walk it up. The guy's resisting and bringing the elbow, okay? I hold the head, grab the wrist, pull it over. Switch to my gift wrap, okay, right here. Now, as I said before, if I slide up to technical mount and I push and turn and get to here, it can be hard to finish the million dollar dream right here, okay? Because the guy is facing that way. So what I wanna do now is forget about all this. Instead of this position, we're just gonna go straight up. At the time, where I'm holding the head and I grab the wrist, feed it around, you have grapevine hooks, you have good pressure on him. I'm gonna control my opponent's wrist, not letting him move. As he bumps and moves, tries to roll me, can't roll me either direction, I'm gonna make a space. See that? I just made a little gap, I take a little bit of pressure off, he's trying to get his hand free, I'm gonna let go and feed it right in. As I feed it right in, now his left hand has to defend. Defend it. And then I get it anyway. How does that feel? Not good. Feels okay. like a million dollar choke. <laughs>
you guys, you never know. This could make you a million bucks. So last time, all I'm saying is, we got the move. We know that if I allow him to turn, he can survive the choke. So instead of not letting him turn this way, we're gonna keep this guy in the grapevine hooks. Get the gift wrap, hold him in the grapevine hooks position. If he defends right here and I can't get my hand inside, he's not letting me, I'll control his wrist, I'll make a little space, try to move, okay? And then I'm gonna beat his hand. Don't let me get it, hide it in the space. I get my hand through, once my hand's through, you block. And now it's a lot like a Gicho, keep defending. I make my grip, see right here? I make my grip and then I flex and get the choke, okay? I'm grabbing and then using my wrist. Thank you, Mikey. Oh, yeah. All right, thank you so much. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed. That's it, go try out the Million Dollar Dream. And remember, self-defense, competitive jujitsu, it all matters. We have to make sure that our competitors also know their basic self-defense. You don't have to go straight from the gift wrap right into arm bars, right into back takes all the time. There's nothing wrong with keeping some control and getting a very simple choke, especially against that guy out on the street that you guys end up on, on top of. And uh, he doesn't know what he's doing. It's gonna be pretty easy. You don't have to lose position. You can keep control the whole time and just get a nice clean choke. All right, guys, see you next time with more great stuff. Can't talk. <laughs>